I am Jan Sini from Flight News. We are interviewing Soma industry representative Mike Good about their new Mars project and the ship that they developed for the historic Mars flight. First we will talk quickly about the young cadets who will be training on the ship. Then we will go on a quick tour around the bridge. First is Melissa Smith. Her contributions to communications have enhanced ship response times and improved fleet reliability. Next, Jake Soma is heir to Soma Industries which have partnered with fleet operations for this critical mission. His contributions to the understanding of astrobiology speak for themselves. Heather Stone is younger sister to Matt Stone, the mission commander. Her keen analytical abilities make her a leading tactical officer and a valuable asset to any mission. Cadet Derek Lind embarrassed senior officers at a fleet computer conference, and those officers made it a point to get to know him well. Cadet Lind at age 15 is an authority on artificial intelligence. In command gold is Julie James whose tough upbringing has given her leadership capabilities that are rather rare. She has an admiral for an uncle. Matt Stone has the leadership qualities that have made him an exciting choice to direct this mission. His father, Henry Stone, has been the primary driving force behind both he and Heather. Now we will turn this over to Mike for the tour of the ship. Thank you. This ship is the fastest and most advanced space vessel ever made by Earth. It uses magnetic drive and thrusters. She is largely automated, and has specific stations. We will start at the security and navigation station. On the left here is the security station. The automation warns of intruders and monitors the ship's systems. On the right is navigation which is preloaded with 200 solar system destinations. Now let's go over to the medical station. The aspiring Dr. Sally Jenna helped design some of the medical tools, which include scanners and regenerators. Do any others have medical training? I have heard that all of them do, but Heather Stone in particular. Now let's go up to the bridge area. Up here we have the science and communication stations on the left. On the right are tactical and engineering and in the middle is the captain's chair. Over along the side here we have a food synthesizer, and up above three beds. This ship also dispenses emergency equipment including shelters and weapons. What are the ship's defensive capabilities? It has forward Omega plasma guns and the most interesting feature is the temporal shields. Explain the temporal shields for those of us who are not technically oriented. Oh one second. I am getting a message about a meteor hit in the Rocky Mountains. It landed in a remote area and did not kill anyone. Well that is fortunate. Earth science learned by accident how to synthesize Blue Omega, which is the power source for the shields. Temporal waves build up like ocean waves around the hull of a ship. The effect is to cause the occupants of a ship to age more slowly than do the people on Earth. Thus one twin could age faster than another. That used to be known as the twins paradox. Temporal shields limit this effect. Many thanks to you and Soma Industries. I am headed out to cover the meteor strike story.
Heather what is the problem? We need to get to the spaceport as soon as possible. The shuttle to the new ship Discovery is waiting. Matt I have been wanting to talk to you. I have been having second thoughts. We are too young to go to space. Maybe we should hang it up. What are you talking about? We have been training for a long time just for this opportunity. I am going and you need to be there to help me. This is a brother and sister team effort. Short. I never wanted this. I was drafted. You know how daddy is. He expected us to join the service as he did. Okay brother we will go to the spaceport. I know I promised this. I would not want to let daddy or you down. By the way we need to pick up another girl on the way there. The other four are already on the ship. Hello I am Julie James. I am assuming that you are Matt Stone. Though looking at your playful friend I am not all that sure. Is my younger sister Heather. Yes I am Matt Stone. We don't have a lot of time so we need to hurry to the shuttle. We can get to know each other later. We have arrived at the ship. Unfortunately they are not ready for us. I am going to teleport out for a mission briefing. In the meantime you two girls will be here for a short time before you are teleported to the ship. You can use the time to get to know each other. Our training mission has been moved back due to a meteor strike in the Rockies. Fleet is sending a team to investigate but it will be a difficult trip. Whatever it is, it landed in an extremely hostile area. Matt and I were recruited almost as soon we were out of diapers. That is our father was determined that we would follow him into the space service. We lived, breathed, and talked about the space service constantly our father, Admiral Gary Stone, is a true lifer and does everything for the service. I was wondering, do you have any boys interested in you? You are quite pretty and that uniform compliments you. There is a geek that I am interested in but I am not sure if he feels the same about me. How about yours? I have been looking but I think the idea of my being in the space service might turn them off. It won't be long. Well look there is the signal that we are being teleported to the main ship. We have been training for months. See you there. Thank you for coming General. The press has been told that the object that crashed in the Rockies was a meteor. We have scanned the area however and confirmed that it is artificial. What do you believe it is? Apparently you think it is a weapon or I would not be here. Yes we are thinking it is hostile. The object was not launched by any country. We tracked it coming into the solar system. I suggest that we launch a drone and investigate. If it looks hostile then we will move in with the ground team and fighters. Go ahead and launch the drone. Send in a laser equipped saucer to get a closer look. We will do that. I will assemble an elite team to follow. Keep in mind that there are reports of major electrical disturbances in the area, apparently caused by the device. They will be dropped in and that thing will be blown to bits. Well you two look cozy. Just so you will know Fleet is delaying the test until tomorrow. We are to stay on the ship. I guess we will have time to get to know one another. That sounds like fun. I could use some R&R &R after the testing that we have had already. Good I will have to talk to Cadet Stone about doing some quick checkups on all of you as long as we have a little more time. Well tactical is my position. Matt has been grilling me on that for some time. Well I am going for now. I have scientific duties among other things to do. Matt is really nice. 
You should be glad to have an older brother like he. Who is that up there? Oh she is Missy. Hey Missy don't be shy. Come down and meet Heather. Hi I am Missy of course. Pleased to meet you. I had no idea Matt was your brother. That is wild. So is Matt, wild I mean, but you will get to know him.
Matt try the gadget I gave you on her. It is painless. Okay, I need to get back to duty. I will send over Jake. Okay, I need to get back to duty. I will send over Jake. Can I watch? This is exciting. You can help. I will let you run the med scanner after I am done with it.
Heather I am going to go take a cat nap. Hold down the fort if you will. Okay you may have heard that a meteor fell in the Rockies. That is a cover story. You are facing an alien device of immense power. We are going to drop you in there. Your orders are to destroy it no matter how you do it. After that, we will extract you from the area. Make no mistake. This country and the world is at war. We do not know who our enemy is, except that they do not come from this planet. We are hearing reports, and have seen it on radar, that there are major electrical disturbances in the area. People are also reporting time anomalies. You must go in and destroy the object. Here it is. I don't know what we are seeing. Contact base. Send them some images. It looks like some kind of vortex. I have never seen anything like it either. I am not getting through to base. There is some kind of interference. How do you think we can get through to it? Can we plant charges? We will never get near it. There is some type of barrier. Open fire with weapons. Try to destroy the source.
channel open. Priority clearance recognition Alpha 1. Incoming subspace signal. Cadet Stone to crew. I just got a message from Fleet. Some world powers are accusing the United States of developing temporal weapons. We have been advised to consider approaching craft on an intercept vector to be hostile unless their status as a non-belligerent is found to, to be the case. I am going to raise the temporal shields as a precaution. Dot I am doing that right now. Do you think we are in any danger? Nat, it was just a meteor. It will blow over soon. Tomorrow we get tested and go to Mars. I don't like the delay but stuff happens. Cadet Stone to crew. I just got a message from Fleet. We are on active duty as of now. The adult crew is not yet available. I have been given the field promotion of captain. All of you are now officers as well. I am continuing to monitor incoming messages. Incoming craft headed right for us. Captain I have a visual. It is an antique flying machine. It is not a threat. Okay thanks Sally. Captain to crew. Stand down. There is no threat. I am going in the back. You still have three girls to do exams on, including yourself. Wake up. I was not finished with your exam earlier. Julie, wake up. 
You and Missy are wanted for exams. You sure are a sound sleeper with all the racket going on. Well I worked through part of it. Just remember. I will try to wake Missy again. You can go down and sit on the table if you want. Come on down Missy. Sally still has a lot of work to do. Wake up Missy. Let us go. I am going to wait down here until Missy comes down.
Okay Julie great send down Heather. In the meantime, I will give Missy another exam because I was interrupted earlier. That's great. I will have Heather do the exam on me. Heather you are wanted down below for a medical exam. This won't take very long.
Well that was quite a challenge. Incoming subspace signal. Fleet has told us to prepare to attack the alien device. The ground troops and conventional fighter both vanished before reaching the target, and the effect is spreading. Operational ship. The object in the Rockies is a destructive alien device. Civilization is vanishing right before our eyes. I could wait for orders from fleet but that would be inadvisable. I feel that we have no choice but to attack. Heather, raise temporal shields to maximum. Arm the forward guns. 
Sally go to navigation and set course to intercept the object. We are at war. All hands, man your battle stations. Captain to crew. We are approaching the alien device. Tactical, status report. Captain we are 500 miles from the device. Our temporal shields are weakening. The device is giving off 10 terawatts of temporal energy. Any attack will be futile. Can we fire our weapons from here? No, it will do no good. The weapons will disappear before ever reaching the target. They are worthless against this type of power. What would you suggest? We cannot retreat. Civilization is vanishing before our eyes. We should head to orbit. It will buy us some more time. Then what? Can we develop a plan to attack and destroy that thing? I will work on it. We must retreat Captain. We can stay in orbit for a few hours at most. Captain to crew. We are currently unable to cope with the alien device. We are going into orbit to try to find a solution. The magnetic drive may be unsettling to some. Stand by. Engaging magnetic drive. Science Station Report on the Earth Captain it is all gone. Our civilization is just gone. The great apes now rule the planet. Human civilization has been eliminated from history. Only our shields have saved us. The device is still functioning. And Captain, I am receiving a signal from deep space. It sounds like a distress signal. Can you get a directional fix? Yes Captain. I also am getting a transponder code. It is another cadet ship, the USS Ailes. They say their systems are failing and asking for an immediate rescue. Captain to crew. Our civilization is gone. Everything we knew. Cities, people, ships all have been erased from history. We are currently unable to destroy the device. We have received a signal from deep space. It appears to be another cadet ship. Navigation, lay in a course. Engage magnetic drive when you are ready. Captain. I believe that is my uncle's ship. He is an admiral. Okay Julie you may be helpful in identifying him. I find this whole thing suspicious. Navigator. Engage magnetic drive. <laughs> Tactical. Stand by weapons. If this turns out to be a trap, you are under orders to fire. Hopefully we can sort this out peacefully. Julie assume the bridge. I need to talk to Jake and Heather. Jake I need you and Derek to get together with Heather. I want a report. We have to find a way to destroy that thing. I also want to know what will happen when we do. Captain I believe the answer is Blue Omega. It disrupts temporal waves. Blue Omega? Doesn't that stuff power our shields? Matt, I agree with Jake. Blue Omega is produced at Mars Station. It can disrupt the device long enough to destroy it. What will happen if we succeed? Will the Earth come back? It should. There are other possibilities of course. It could be that civilization will be completely different. We have no choice. 
Get to work on it. Why have the aliens not landed? They cannot come within the next 10 years as the device will affect them too. We have 10 years to solve this problem before this becomes permanent. We'll beat them. Our immediate concern is getting to Mars Station. Good luck everyone. Because humans never developed, animals took over the planet. The great apes now ruled the earth. Even some ancient creatures that were long extinct survived in this timeline. But the human race was gone, to be replaced by an evil alien race. Rapidly all signs of civilization vanished as it was erased from time. The teens could not believe this and they were pushed to the brink. Ah! 